Hi everybody, it's John Lortz from DiscoverSkills.com and I'm here today with another one of the videos that's in our series that I'm calling Taking Control of the Windows Desktop. This is actually the last video that I'm going to have in the series and today what we're going to be looking at is what is called the screen or display resolution. Now when I talk about resolution what I'm referring to is how many pixels tall my display is and how many pixels wide my display is. This has nothing to do with the size of your monitor. You know, you may have a 19 inch or a 21 inch or a 24 inch monitor. That's simply the physical size of the monitor in uh, a measured diagonally across the screen. What we're talking about here is how many of these little tiny pixels our actual display is made up of. And that's something that you can actually change in Windows depending on what you're trying to do. Now, let's talk a little bit about what that does for you. Right now, if you look at my screen, you can see I've got some icons out here and you can kind of see how big they are and so on and so forth. And I'm actually going to start up a browser. Let's start up my Chrome browser here by clicking. And I'm going to hop over to the Discover Skills web page to kind of give us an example uh, of a web page to look at here. Okay, the way my monitor is set right now, when I go to a web page, I can see quite a bit of it all the way across and actually quite a bit of it down. Okay, so um, right now kind of get a look at here and you can see how much I can actually see on my display with my resolution set this way. And again when I minimize notice the size of the icons out here. Okay, now when I change my resolution you're going to notice that these things are going to change. If I go to a lower resolution meaning that a lower uh, a, a lower number of pixels across and a lower number of pixels high, my icons are going to get bigger and if I go back to my browser here, I'm not going to be able to see as much of the browser screen here. Okay, and those are the two things I want you to notice as we change the resolution. Okay, now I'm going to go back out here to the desktop. To change your resolution, and you can do this at any time on the fly, all right, all you have to do is come out here with your mouse onto the desktop, right click and in Windows 7 there's actually an option right on the right click menu that says screen resolution. If you're using an older version of Windows, Windows XP or Windows Vista, you'll need to go to either properties in Windows XP or personalize in Vista to get to the screen resolution option. But here in Windows 7 we can simply come right to screen resolution okay we'll go click and that will bring up the window for screen resolution. Now before we continue on here I want you to notice one little thing. Um, here in this window at the top where you can see I'm circling my mouse right now I actually have two displays being shown and that's because in my home setup here that I'm using today I actually have two monitors connected to my computer. So by clicking on one or the other I can actually change either one of my monitors. Now for our purposes I'm going to be using monitor 2 today for my examples. Okay, When you look at this at home chances are you just have one monitor connected to your computer you'll only see one display listed here. Okay, Just wanted to make sure you understood that. Alright so we're going to work on monitor number 2 here. Now resolution is changed right here in this drop down and if I click on it you'll see that the drop down has in it a slider that allows me to slide up and down to lower resolutions down at the bottom and then all the way up to higher resolutions at the top. Now right now my monitor is set to dis display at 1440 by 900 pixels in dimensions and that's what we were showing you before when we looked at the size of the icons out here and we looked at the size of the of the web page okay now what I'm gonna do is this I'm gonna slide this down and I'm actually gonna slide it clear down to the bottom to the smallest resolution that I can get with this monitor which is 800 by 600 which is very low resolution. Okay, so I'm going to slide down to there. All right, so you can see it's set to there. Now I'm going to I'm going to scroll down so that I can see my buttons here. In fact, I'm going to make this window a little bit bigger here so we don't have to scroll. But there's my buttons. All right, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now you're going to see the screen change. 
And when it does, there's this great big monster window that seems to come up. That's because we've changed our resolution and everything's looking bigger now. Notice that right here, I can either keep my changes or revert. I'm going to go ahead and click on Keep Changes. And there we go. I now have my new resolution set. Now, look at how big everything looks. You know, my logo in the background, desktop background is bigger. My icons are bigger. They're bigger down at the bottom on the taskbar. In fact, let's pull up the web page now and look. Look at how monster big this web page is now. In fact, it's so big in the window that I have to literally scroll back and forth to see everything. And in fact, that's one of the points that I want to make. When you have your display set to a lower resolution, everything's bigger and you know sometimes that helps you read things more but with a lot of with a lot of the stuff that you look at especially web pages and things like that these web pages were created for larger resolutions and so when you when you look at them with a lower resolution you end up having to do a lot of scrolling like this and that can be a real pain sometimes okay now if I minimize this again you know, it's great having these great big icons I can read, but again, my screen is really cramped at this lower resolution. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go back into it again, find a blank place on the desktop, right click, we'll go to screen resolution again here. Okay, this time what I'm going to do is come down to resolution, click on it, and up, oh, whoop, wrong monitor, I gotta go to monitor number two, there we go and I'm way down at that low resolution here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna slide it up now to one that's kind of in the middle, 1280 by 800, okay? So we'll choose that. Have to scroll down so I can see my buttons here. We'll click OK. Changes my screen again. Uh, again, I can either keep the changes, I can revert back to what they were. If, if I let this timer run out, by the way, it'll automatically revert back to the way it was. And that's kind of a safeguard. I'm going to click Keep Changes before it does that. But that's kind of a safeguard so that if it's so big or so bad that you can't even see the button very well, it'll automatically change back after that timer's up. Okay, but now we're, we're kind of at that middle resolution. Okay, notice that the icons are all smaller, but they're not as small as they were before. See how they kind of overlap onto my logo now? Okay, and if we pull that web page back up, now we can see the full width, which is a little nicer, okay, but we're still not seeing quite as much as we see with that really high resolution. But everything does look a little bit bigger, so, you know, this might be a good resolution to keep it at, you know, depending on what you're trying to do. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go back out here one more time. Go to my desktop, right click, choose screen resolution again. And I'm going to go ahead and change this back. Monitor number 2. Change it back to the one that's recommended the higher resolution. Okay, so I went ahead and slid up to here. By the way, too, I I didn't mention this before either, but you can see in your little preview how things change. For example, if I go down way to the low resolution, look how small that looks and everything looks big. And as I scroll it up, do you see how it's changing? More pixels, and everything just looks a little bit smaller on the screen. All right, so you kind of have a little preview here of what's going on. But I'm going to slide all the way up here to that top highest resolution. All right, scroll down here so I can see my buttons. I'll click OK. It's changing again. I'm going to go ahead and choose Keep Changes here. And there we go. Do you see how much smaller these are now? I see a lot more of my screen now. It's more room in my screen. And if I go to my browser again, plenty of room to see the width of this web page. I can really see what's going on here. So the, the moral of the story with this is, is that you can, whenever you decide you want to, right click, go to your resolution, change it to whatever makes sense for you depending upon what you're trying to do. Okay, When you go to a lower resolution everything on the screen is bigger. You can read it probably more easily but you can't see as much. When you go to a higher resolution you can see a lot more but everything will be smaller. So you need to decide which of these is going to work the best for you and then just set it that way. Alright? 
That is going to do it for this video. Um, as always, if you have more questions or would like to see more videos and more of our learning materials, we certainly would love you have it, have to have you visit our website. The address is www.discoverskills.com. And of course, I always love to hear from you. My email address is jlortz at discoverskills.com. I hope you've enjoyed this series that we've uh, we've had for the, the past few weeks called Taking Control of Your Windows Desktop. Um, I'm going to be posting it up onto our website uh, in, in full uh, under our mini course section so that you can always come back to it whenever you want to and you can and you can see it. Uh, in the meantime though I'll be putting together some more uh, video mini courses for you to see on some other topics related to Windows and iPads and iPods and you never know what kind of technology we'll be talking about. But again I hope you've enjoyed this series and I will see you in the next video.